I'm losing control over the accent that I have over Joseph. <laughs> are you ready to get down with the thickness? We are playing another Zed Technician game, which means thick furries! I'm not joking. What's up, Salmon Squad? I am the game Salmon, and if this is the first video you've ever seen of me, I'm sorry for scaring you already, and I hope you come back. Welcome to Midnight Made Night, another game made by Zed Technician. I love this guy's games, not just because the thick furries, but I do really do enjoy the games and the gameplay and all that good stuff. The game dropped while I was on vacation, and now I'm back from vacation, and let's check out the game, see what we got. And be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the things because you're awesome. <laughs> Oh, there you go. New game. Yes, I would like to begin a new game. Hello, what's your story? Naomi. Okay, but really, it makes sense. First, you replace a single plank on the ship, then another, and then you keep going until everything has been replaced and nothing from the original ship is left. Then you ask, is it still the same ship? And if not, when did it stop? Being the ship of Theseus. That's a thought experiment. Who are you talking to, Naomi? Who are you having this riveting conversation with? That is a bug. A thick bug. Wouldn't it just be easier to build a new ship instead of going through all that? Ruth, that's not the point. It's a thought experiment. Well, if you ask me, Theseus needs to quit thinking so much and go stop his ship from being dismantled. Maybe that's the point of all this. Don't get distracted by silly little details when someone's out to get you. I don't... I think we're getting off track here. Oh! Hold on, my phone's going off. Do you have claws? I'm... I'm sorry, Naomi. Are you a harpy? Like, what's happening here? Shoot! What's wrong? Our two o'clock just canceled on us. Uh-oh, why is that? I'll read her message for you. Okay, so... Gotta cancel the appointment, owner found out, and isn't happy. Says she'd rather clean the place herself. And that was our last appointment for the month, too. There's one more we could do. No! We're not going to that one! Well, we have to do something here. If I miss one more payment, they're going to take the van. And that's the end of the Midnight Maids. I don't think either of us want to start looking for a new career at this point. So, t I'm sorry, you- 2 a.m. for maids? I have a lot of follow-up questions, but I'll see where the game goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the game the benefit of the doubt. Ruth, you're killing me, I swear. Oh, come on now. We don't even have to clean the place. Just move a few boxes and drop them off afterwards. We'll be in and out before you know it. Let's go. That's the Naomi I know. We'll be there in no time. I bet there are ghosts. There's always ghosts or demons. Actually, you know what? Demons. Demons is probably more like it with Zed Technician. I told you that was a thick cockroach! I told you! Well, what are you- what are you, Naomi? Uh, I- I- you- you have talons of a glorious hawk. Are you hawk woman? I'm already getting bad vibes from this place, man. I'm not too thrilled about it either. But the sooner we get started, the sooner we can get out of here. You- you have feathers too. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm just like, what, what is Naomi? I'm so curious. Cause you got a human head, I'm gonna... Focus. Focus on the game. I know, I know, it's just... You know, bad feelings, we're all gonna die, all that good stuff. A straight up haunted mansion in here. All right, what's first on the agenda? I'll check. The estate has been sold, and the previous owner possessions are being auctioned off tomorrow. We hired some movers, but they unexpected said words are difficult to say sometimes, unexpectedly left a few hours into the work and haven't replied back yet. The previous owner is currently unavailable, so I need you to finish up the job. What? Of packing? We're maids, I, I'm not heavy lifters. All you need to do is pack up whatever items are still left and drop it all off at my place. You have more empty boxes than you will need to use, you may put any unneeded ones back on the bench. Sounds easy enough. You send them a message, I'll, I'll let them know we're here. I'll start unpack, I'll start packing up here first. Ooh, I'm the cockroach. Heck yeah, I'm a scutter about. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I don't know why I decided to look down. How many boxes can I carry? 
Okay, maybe just two. I'm sorry, what am I doing? I'm packing stuff away. Kind of. Oh. Oh, that'll work. Okay, sure. Start with the easy stuff, I suppose. What was this place? This was an estate, but like, are these all mail slots? Like, was this like a giant hotel or something? Hey, Naomi. Yeah? Why is there a pile of doors here? I think I read something about the new owner being allergic to bronze. Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta check this out. You, you can't tell me that someone's allergic to bronze and expect me not to look up, can you be allergic to bronze? Oh. Some people with very sensitive skin can react to any metal like copper bronze and brass and stuff. Hypoallergenic is the word. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm wrong. I'm wrong again. I just, you learn something new every day. Like that's why you had all the doors taken off or something. Hypoallergenic. Got it. A bronze allergy? How strange. That's why I looked it up. Okay. Well, all right. So doors, doors are gone or whatever. Taking all the stuff. Is there like a paper demon or something? Is there the box ghost from Danny Phantom gonna jump out of nowhere? Oh, is that everything? There we go. That's the first room taken care of now. Better go ahead and take this box on out to the van. Be right back, sure thing. Don't die, Naomi. It'd be cool if you got off your phone and got your tail feather to work. Oh, I like that moon. That's a solid moon. It kind of looks a little too close to the earth there. Don't crash into the earth, please. These boxes aren't full. Oh, like how many boxes am I carrying? My assets are in the way. Uh, okay, so I, I look, I'm a cockroach. I think I'm, I carried four boxes and I just put one away. Therefore, I'm carry, carrying three boxes. Hi, Vermander? Oh, hey, Ruth. You didn't tell me that the old homeowner would be here. Pretty sure that's a zombie. Scared me almost half to death when he showed up. Terribly sorry about the fright, madam. Though I do have a question I feel I must ask. Your attire suggests that you're here for work. Please tell me, has something happened? My friend and I were contracted to move things out before the new owner shows up. New owners? So we finally lost the estate then. I should have known. But never mind that, I must suggest you two return in the morning. Things tend to get very, very strange in this house at this late hour. Tomorrow, I can't do daylight. <gasps> That's why they're the midnight men. See, that makes me so much more sense. Okay, I'm on board now. I get it. It all makes sense. And I'm nocturnal. Okay, is Naomi an owl? Moving on. So we only work at night. Midnight maids. Besides, if we don't finish this job tonight, we don't get paid. I see, I see. Well, we can't have that, can we now? In that case, you'll need to keep a close eye out for my father during your work. The man has had this, has his fair share of demons in his life, and... In his current state, he's only gotten worse. But don't worry. The lights in the mansion tend to react to the energy he gives off. They should begin to glow blue, and then you know he's on his way. I'm sure you'd like to know what you should do at that point, right? Well, a family such as ours has had its fair share of enemies. And because of this, every room in this mansion has a secret alcove that can be used to hide inside. My father has long since lost the presence of mind to check these hiding spots. So you should be safe therein. I wish I could tell you that, that he's not as bad as he seems, but he is. So it's best that you should just avoid him outright. I'll leave you both to get back to your work. Just pretend that I'm not even here and that I seem to have dirt covered all about. I don't really have eyeballs and I am clearly a, clearly a copy of Vermander from the last game. I'd like for her on the record to show that I'm not okay with any of this. Naomi, hush, we'll be fine. Thank you for your help, sir. We appreciate it. He's left already. He's a demon. He's a demon. He sure is a strange one. And the understatement of the year award goes to uh, Ruth and stuff. Could you get off your phone and help me? Pick up another box. All right. I, I guess I'm going. Okay. At least you're following me. So if the lights turn blue, go hide. And the ambiance changed. How fantastic. What are you- Hello! You disappeared on me! One would not be able to tell it right now, but our dining room is- used to be quite the grandiose sight. 
All men of patricians have graced this room. Though it's sometimes wonder if they still would have visited had they known what truly went on in here. Goodbye, I guess! Sure! I'm just gonna go ahead and pack up everything and hope that nothing terrible happens. Where, where's the hiding hole? Okay, there's the hiding hole. So if the lights turn blue, hiding hole. You know, before I die and stuff. Are you gonna help me? S seriously, put down your phone. Get off TikTok. Stop watching, you know, all the videos of the game, Sam, and I know his videos are amazing and that you're going through and liking all- You know what? In fact, stay there and watch all the videos from the game, Sam, and I think, you know what? I can't even be mad at that. Can't even be mad. Ah, blue! No! Blue! 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 Hide! <laughs> Father? Oh, goodbye. All right, cool. You know, you know, it is something, you know, it really does seem like every game is just a little like the man from the window. Just a little bit. I would like to see, um, I don't know, maybe, what, what do I want to see? Maybe I'm okay with this. I'm too early in the game to make judgments already. Keep the thickness, though. That's, that's, that's obvious. I think I'm almost done with this room. Keep looking up just to make sure that no blue is showing up. For fear of father's wrath. Is that it for this area? Do I need to pick up the chairs or are we good? I guess we're okay with this room. Should I, should I go to another room? Okay, I am going to get lost. There's so much stuff. Oh, blue. Hide away. You know, I get that you're the midnight maids and you're going above and beyond. How much are you getting paid, Ruth and Naomi? Because... This is getting a little dicey, isn't it? That's another burp. All right, my bad. Okay, this entire place has so much stuff. You literally just came out of nowhere. Many a thankless meal has been prepared in this room. While I, of course, did my best to respect the help father wasn't always as accommodating. God forbid you incorrectly cooked a meal on one of his bad days. The ashes contained in that oven aren't just from the wood, you know. Yeah, walk off literally into nothing. Perfect. Is this not a red flag to me? I get you. Know, I was about to ask, like, why are there boxes around? But then again, it actually makes sense because there were movers here before, right? <gasps> Demons. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. This is a long hallway. Am I in trouble? <sighs> Naomi's still watching the game, Salmon. You keep doing your thing. Owl, I guess. Owl woman. Okay, there's my little hidey hole. Naomi, can you pick up a box or something? Like seriously though, this is getting ridiculous. Why isn't father showing up? Maybe I'll just make it back to the entrance, put away some boxes and then backtrack and pick up some more? I don't know, I just have a very uneasy feeling. Like I feel like this is only the beginning, right? And more things are for sure about to happen. Like that doesn't just involve father. As fun as it is to say the word father in such a mysterious baroque tone, father. <laughs> oh, that's just, that's the, the crickets outside. It's the crickets outside. We're good. Okay. This box isn't full. I know. I, I'm aware that it isn't full. Okay. So, oh my God, this is a huge house. So basically what? These are the, all the rooms that I haven't yet been to. Ooh, father! Of its father! Hide from father. Lest we acquire his wrath. I want to get a good look at Father. I'm sure once we beat the game, we'll, we'll see what Father's all about. What? Hi! You both seem to be quite adept at this. That other group of movers had already turned tail and ran by now. Cleaning houses is usually our specialty, but sometimes we have to take other jobs as well. And then I get dragged into some insane situation just because we need the money. Like last month, when we almost got buried alive in the church's basement. How does one end up in a predicament like that? Good question! Maybe it's because SOMEBODY accepted without reading the entire job description. It said groundbreaking work, didn't it? How was I supposed to know? Do you see what I have to go through? My, my, you two sure are something else. I wish we had more help like you during my time. 
And where are my manners? I never introduced myself, of course. My name is Joseph. Joseph Vermander. You are a Vermander. See? It all connects. See? Look. There's the thumbnail. I played that game before. Go watch that video after this one if you haven't already done so. Vermander Curse, get out of here. I'm Naomi and she's Ruth. It's an honor to meet you both. I don't mean to delay you, really. It's just nice to finally have someone to talk to after all this time. I'll let you return to your work. You know, you know, when there's a Vermander involved, there's gonna be demons, which, eh, how can I be mad? I know what I'm getting into. I know what this is. Let me pick up a box. Pick a couple more boxes. And I think I just go back, because the movers already put these, you know, like put it all away. Whoop Pam! That's three more boxes. And oh, there's still more in that room? Gosh, okay. Oh, I still have a lot of ground to cover. Seriously, is there anything else in this room? I guess not. Alright, whatever. Let me snag these boxes. Oh, I can't carry it because I'm carrying an empty box. Got it. Okay, uh, whatever. Father! I'm stealing all your stuff. What are you gonna- What are you gonna do about it? I thought I heard something. I was- Okay. <laughs> Stop taunting the demons! Whoop ham. More boxes. Hi. It's getting rather late. Which means I should probably tell you about Cornelius. Oh god, who's Cornelius? A long time ago, he used to be one of my father's servants. A true paragon of a butler, I haven't had a bad word to say of the man. But one cold January morning, a terrible blizzard arrived, and you and I both know how rare snow is here. The entire town was shut down. Our family had absolutely everything one might need for in an emergency. Food, water, enough firewood to last for days on end. However, father wasn't happy for the man was accustomed to reading his newspaper every morning. Given the conditions outside, the paper had obviously had not been delivered that day, but instead of occupying his time doing something else as a sane person would, he sent poor old Cornelius out to retrieve the morning paper from town. Father didn't even have the decency to give the man a winter coat to use. He just sent him out wholly unprepared. Suffice to say, Cornelius didn't return. The man met his untimely demise out there in all the ice and snow. And now something appears outside every night, just past the gate. Something that used to be Cornelius. I do not know what happened to him out there in that blizzard, nor do I want know what he wants. But when you venture outside, be sure not to stay out there for too long. Otherwise, you might very well end up face to face with him. Goodbye! Now I get to meet Cornelius! My favorite! That's a weird bath. Oh, it's got legs! It's gonna run away on me. <laughs> God! Okay, that's me. It's it's me. It's fine. Let me just take these box. It's me. It's, it's, who, who? Father! Okay, father's coming. <laughs> I keep scaring myself. Wait, are we gonna get a glimpse of father in the mirror? Turn to the right. Turn to the right. Turn to the right. Turn to the right. Ooh, ooh. I don't like father! Oh, I'm not a big fan of father. Father's a demon! Oh dear, I think I can't care any anymore. Okay, cool. All right, works for me. Let's, you know, get the hell out. At least for now. But also, be quick about it. Because of Cornelius. Cornelius? Okay, I, look, I'm gonna leave Cornelius alone. I don't want to deal with him. God, okay. C can I please get, like, an X off on one of these? I guess I'm not doing enough. Let me pick up two more boxes. And hopefully I find other boxes to pick up. Maybe that's the strat. <coughs> Oh, I gotta stop burping. <laughs> that was a stupid painting. Okay, maybe there's paintings around that I need to be picking up. Maybe maybe that's what I'm missing. I'm not really looking at the walls here. I can't pick up any of the furniture. I, ke I keep trying, but it won't let me. <gasps> Unless I have to pick up the furniture by itself, which I guess would make more sense. Can I take the toilet? This is, man, this is an old-fashioned toilet. Forget about it. Naomi, put down your stupid phone and help me out here. Like, I'm a cockroach, like, I got strength for days, but please, you- you got- you got those weird owl legs to help me out, right? Hi! Is this your stupid library? A vast selection of tomes and books used to be housed in this room. We collected it all over generations. So much knowledge. Yet somehow, despite it all, we still weren't clever enough to save ourselves. 
Okay, goodbye. Give me the books. Uh, where, where's my hidey hole? Hidey hole's there for when things are bad. Got it. Okay, cool. Good stuff. Oh, you can't carry it anymore? We're done? Okay, cool. After we hide from Father. Father's a big old meanie. I, I don't want to meet him out, you know, in the library. Bad things happen in libraries. I'm joking. Go to the library, kids. I, I lost total control of that sentence. I'm sorry. Seriously answer this in the comments section. When's the last time you've been to a public library? Like, I cannot remember the last time I was in a library. Nope, that's a lie. The last time I was in a library was back when I was in grad school. But then again, it was only to use the computer <laughs> to print out articles that were online, right? <laughs> Not to actually check out books. There we go. Hi, Cornelius, wherever you are. Are you Cornelius? Cornelius! Cornelius! No, sir! I didn't get a good look of Cornelius, but I don't think I want to get a good look. I think that was just going to be a bad idea. Okay, are you going to give me another character? Oh my god. I have one I have one final thing to tell you both. I'd rather keep this particular story to myself, but for your own safety, I must tell you of Agatha. Agatha used to be part of the help. But Cornelia, she too, was an exemplary servant. Throughout her time here, both she and I grew close. Very close. And despite knowing her full well the impact it would have on my family's social status, I asked her to marry me. She and I then planned to elope and run away together. I didn't care that I was giving up my inheritance by doing so. I only wanted us to be together. But the night before we were to make our escape from this awful place, Father! The cold-hearted man, how he, as it was, he found out. Again and again I asked him, where is she and what have you done? He eventually answered me, though sometimes I wish that he hadn't. He told me that she was under the floorboards, <gasps> where she belonged. Then he went on about his day, reading his newspaper and having his breakfast, as if nothing happened. I guess I didn't deserve to end up like this. She probably will wake soon. You should see the candle suddenly go out, you will know she's in the same room as you. <sighs> you know I still try to talk to her, but she never responds. I don't think she recognizes me anymore. She just runs off. Even if I look at her. Ooh, I gotta look at her. Okay, so, lights go off. <laughs> look at Agatha. Bye! Thanks! Appreciate it. Appreciate all the help you've given me. Okay, so in the house, really, is the only time that I'm truly in danger. I just gotta worry about Agatha, which I feel like I'm not going to like Agatha. I feel like Agatha's gonna be a big old issue. <laughs> I'm not happy about this! Will I still be able to see? Please, okay, now I am actually a, a little perturbed. Like, I know Agatha's gonna appear here in a minute. So I'm just kinda trying to... <laughs> Was that a fox? Was that a furry? I mean, I'm a furry, I, I think. If I dress up as a cockroach, does that make me a furry? Like, what? Okay. Wow, that was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. That scared the bejesus out of me. Give me these stupid books. Are we done with this area? Okay, I don't like Agatha. I didn't even get a good look at her, but I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Oh, I... Oh, man. Okay. Ag Agatha changes the name of the game here. For sure. What is this? The attic? Second floor? Oh god, okay. Give me this box. Give me that. Oh! Blue lights! Father's coming. You know, I wonder what happens if I actually get caught. Because this doesn't feel like a game that has multiple endings, uh, not like a lot of the other games made by Zed Technician. So, you know, maybe there's one ending, but I do hope there's a save thing kind of mechanic. That would be kind of cool of the game in general. Man, I need to get out of here. I feel like Agatha's due to show up here in a minute. Hi. I really don't like you anymore. Not like I liked you in the first place. This mansion has been given or been in our family for generations, you know. After my father finally met his end, everything went to me. During my time, I tried my best to correct the past sins of my family. The helper treated family for once and... I lowered the prices on all of our properties. I even tried returning all those liberated artifacts we used to keep down in the basement. I was well on my way to pulling on family name out of the mud, you know. But then somehow father became so enraged by my actions that he brought himself back from the dead to stop me. To be honest with you, I wasn't even that surprised. 
He broke just about every law. He could while still alive. Breaking universal laws was the logical next step. I'm losing control over the accent that I have over Joseph. So Agatha's a thing. Agatha happened. Naomi, you need to get out of my way, girl. Like for real, get out of my way. <laughs> okay, where where the hell am I? Cornelius, you better not do what I think you're gonna do. These boxes aren't full, I know. <sighs> oh man. H have I made no progress in this game? What is happening? Dude, I must be missing something like super obvious. Girl. Hey. <gasps> well, she is a fox. Just scampering off like that. So, you know, makes sense. Oh my god, father's here. Okay. Oh my god. Oh! Check time, check room status. Uh, room status. That's it for this room? We got everything? Heck yeah! What, 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 what's this time business? Check time. It's 4 a.m. The new homeowner is supposed to get here at 6, so we need to finish up before then. Oh, wow. If we still want to get paid, that is. I'm sorry. Am I on the clock? Do I have to do this fast? So I have to be somewhat methodical in some way, shape, or form to actually, like, maybe get a good ending. Okay. So, so, okay. So now things make more sense. I just... Girl, you scamper on out of here. Thanks. Okay, so maybe I don't get like an X. Oh, is just X marks the spot of like where I am. So I've been like finishing these rooms. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. I was okay. I was under the impression that I was going to like X off room. Father. I'm okay. I'm okay. Father, I can handle. Man, it's just thick Agatha that I just can't stand. Like seriously, I, I hit another register. Jay, can you replay that scream that I had a moment ago? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I know you had a field day with that one, didn't you? Hey, look, demon stuff. Let me just collect it all. Why not? You know, gotta put it all away. How's the room? That's it. Let's get out of here. I don't like this room. <sighs> well, get over it, Naomi. Maybe help out or something? You know, that'd be cool. Okay, I think I have a much better idea of the layout of the house. Agatha? There you are. Hey, 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 hey. Come back, little foxy. Little foxy lady. Where are you going? All right, girl, how are we doing on time? What time is it? 4.28 p.m. Oh, you know, maybe we will be able to finish this no problem. Man, I'm sweating. Like, I, like, I feel gross. I, I need, I need, <laughs> I, I need to double up on the deodorant right before I record horror games. <laughs> I, I think, I think, like, you know, one swipe isn't doing it anymore. I gotta do, like, five or six. I'm sweating out here. I mean, come on, thick furries with giant teeth? Forget about it. I'm, I'm scared and attracted to things. Like, what's happening? <laughs> Why did I say that? Oh, my God. Jay, we're not putting any of this in the video. Don't you dare put that in the video. Shut up. Ooh, Agatha. Oh, you're so hot. <laughs> oh, I'm unhinged. What is, what is happening to me? All right. Jay, none of this is going in the video. Jay, don't you dare put any of this in the video. There's a box. Let me pick up that mamma jamma. Oop, father's here. Father's here. Oh God, is Agatha here too? Hi. Who's more of a threat at once, Agatha or father? Agatha's gone, maybe. Maybe? Okay, so Father Trump's Agatha. Good to know. Oh my God, Agatha! You gotta stop that, girl. Girl, you you better knock that off right this instant. Okay, all right. Oh, what time is it? How are we doing on time? Am I gonna get paid? Five o two a.m. Yeah, that's not good. Um. Oh, Father. Oh God. N Naomi, move. Okay, we're okay. All right, I thought I was dead there. I think I might be able to make it. We'll see. Like, when did all this start? 2 a.m.? Like, was that my starting time? So there's like a total of four hours to do this. Four hours, you know, what, whatever the in-game equivalent is. 
Cornelius, don't do nothing. Thank you. Stop. <laughs> oh my god! Agatha, why? Hold on. I, I gotta look at the map. I gotta look at the map. Like, where where haven't we done? Oh, only two more? Oh, shoot, girl! Okay. So you go straight, and then go around, do that, and then that thing over there. Okay. Okay. Things are looking actually pretty good. Things are pretty good. I think we're gonna be done by 6 a.m. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't done in the library? Hold on. Is this room not done? The message says, pack up all the books. Pack up the candle. We haven't packed everything in this room yet. Okay, so I gotta get a candle. What, this candle over here? Okay, oh, okay. Are, are we good now? That's it. Oh. Whatever, just buy a new candle. Like, it, you know, it's an old candle. And I think these two boxes right here, and we're done. That's it. I didn't even have to make it all the way back. Leaving already? Yep, we're all done here. Thankfully. No offense, my guy, but your house creeps me out. <laughs> I suppose you're right about that. This place does give off quite the oppressive atmosphere. Still, I'm going to miss it. This is the only home I've ever known, you know. But it's high time for me to move on. There's no point in haunting this place at the moment longer, for all time here is over. I have to thank you both for helping me realize that. Without you here, I suppose I never would have talked to myself through my own issues. You're very welcome, dear ghost being. Honestly, this is nothing new for us. We usually just tack on another 50 bucks to the bill and but when we help someone's spirit move on. Oh, okay. I, I expect nothing else from the Midnight Maids, I suppose. It's been fun. Goodbye, my friends. Where do you think you're going? I guess that's father. Hi, father. <laughs> you're, Jeremiah, you're a muscular man. You're not going anywhere, boy. You know what, father? No! I'm done with you. My whole life is revolved around you. I spent the entirety of my youth trying my best to please you, yet you only thought of yourself. And I spent the rest of my short time here trying in vain to atone for your evil deeds. I refuse to let you ruin my afterlife as well. That's it. Sure, sure took you long enough to come around, Joey. Okay, Agatha. Yeah, j just go ahead and stifle right up there. Agatha? My love? You still remember me? Why haven't you said anything until now? Why have you been terrifying the maids? I was waiting for you to finally stand up to the big oaf. I thought giving you the silent treatment for a while might help you figure it out, but no. We better late than never, I suppose. Exactly! <laughs> now come on, let's finally leave this place behind. Let's go get married and do stuff. <laughs> you let us depart at once! You wouldn't dare! What a bet, old man! I'm having way too much fun. Okay, what am I gonna do about him? This is your fault! If you didn't listen to him ramble on, he'd still be here with me. Ooh, ooh, wait. Have Cornelius jump out of nowhere and get him. You're gonna pay for that. Cornelius. Yeah! Oh, that's what you look like. Hi, Cornelius. Ah, oh, there you are, sir. Is that newspaper you wanted? Thanks for this paper years ago, you useless idiot. Not even a thank you, eh? Well, that's quite all right, sir. I brought you something else as well. Would you like to know the weather forecast? What? The weather forecast, sir. There's a heat wave coming, I thought you should know. Well, what is this? No, I will not go yet. My legacy, I must preserve it. What legacy? You're just a big old uh, stupid head. Hi, <laughs> Cornelius. Right, so now, it's, now that it's finally sorted, I'd better take my leave as well. Stay safe out there. Nothing like a skeleton in a suit going off to heaven. Never a dull moment, huh? Not by a long shot, my dear. Not by a long shot. <sighs> Ah, uh, it's just right off into the moonlight. The end. I even got a star out of that. Okay, what what happens if I die? Like, what happens if I get jump scared? Number two, what happens if I make it all the way to 6 a.m., but I haven't finished everything? 
Ooh, father, you mad that the maid is stealing all your silverware? Come get me. Come on, let's do this, old man. Are we doing this? Old man? Oh, there we go, okay. I think he's just gonna see me, he's gonna run at me, uh, just like kind of the other, like, jump scare kind of stuff. <laughs> Bye, Naomi. Faced with no other acceptable alternatives, the Midnight Maids ventured into a place brimming with bad omens. Although this, this was nothing new for the duo, one's luck can only be tested so many times before the worst eventually happens. The estate and its dark, unresolved secrets proved to finally be too much. A mansion with a closet already full of skeletons now added two more into its grim history. Six restless spirits now reside therein. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, doesn't change the star there, and it looks like we can continue. I think that's gonna be like a generic, like, game over for any character, I suppose. I'm assuming it saved some of our progress, right? It, maybe? Like, it saved this room's progress, so I, I think it maybe saves after every, like, completed room, or... Maybe there's, like, a checkpoint with, like, oh, I activated father, I have no boxes, of course I couldn't pick up silverware. Naomi, what time is it? I wanna check. It's 2.10 a.m. We've still got plenty of time left, all that good stuff. I'm going to just hide in here. I'm gonna sit and let it run. I want it to reach 6 a.m. and then I want to see what happens. I didn't even know that father was coming to get me. Wow, that was perfectly timed, I suppose. I guess I'm just psychic. All right, Naomi, let's just sit here until 6 a.m. Sound good? I'll take your silence as acceptance. How long is this game? It it's just, let's, let's just, for the next four hours, let's just stare into each other's souls. How about that? Jay, start a time lapse, please. Just, for the next four hours, just have like a slow zoom in into Naomi's soul. Let's do that. I'm gonna go get a Red Bull. How about that? Oh my god. Don't, nope, nope. Don't crouch. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, father's here. Okay, father, you you go do your thing. I'll be right back. I'm, I'm getting a Red Bull. All right? This is ridiculous. This is nuts! This is it. Oh, this is it. Oh my god, finally. Okay. The duo had worked throughout the night, right up until the last moment, kind of. We just kind of bunkered down in a secret wall. However, they were unable to meet their agreed upon deadline. As the clock struck six, the new homeowner arrived, angry that the mansion wasn't in the previous promised condition. The pair promptly left, leaving the disgruntled homeowner behind to deal with an untidy home and four restless guests. They were not paid for their efforts. Though they left the mansion unscathed, they were unable to find more work before the month's end. And the Midnight Maid's van was repossessed soon after. Having no way to continue their work, the two parted ways. They both eventually landed new dead-end jobs to make ends meet. Despite their inherited danger of being Midnight Maids, they both, they both truly seemed to miss their time working together. The end. So that was Midnight Maid Night, another game made by the glorious Zed Technician. If he ever releases another game, I may check it out, get all the endings, all the good stuff. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to click on the end at the end of this video. Also be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already done so. I love you guys so much. Go out there and make someone's day. Be happy. Stay happy. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Are you an owl? Are you a raven? Kind of. 
Who are you? 